as much as people don't believe this, there's still a place for good, solid, classical, serious music, and people will come out to hear it. Uh, I'm Jake Slosser, and I've played bassoon, principal bassoon with the symphony since the early days. Uh, orchestra started in 1979 officially, 40th anniversary this year, and uh, I've been with the orchestra since September of 1979. When it started in, in 79, 80, Glenn Mugel was a conductor for four years. He was a professor at the university, School of Music, and uh, he lasted for four years and he went on. And we had a series of other conductors. Early days in the, in the 80s, even into the 90s, the orchestra was basically a community and university project. Year 2000, that changed. There had been a change in the uh, organization. It had to do with the conductor, Kevin Purcell. And after that time, the, the orchestra became independent of the university. And uh, they had an interim conductor for a year, I think 2001, Mr. Perini. And then they did something very interesting. The orchestra was on its own and conducted a search for a conductor. And they had 30 or 40 candidates. A lot of people wanted to conduct this orchestra. And uh, as a result of that search, Jaime Morales Matos was hired. And he was, there was a lot of foresight, good foresight on that committee because Jaime turned out to be wonderful. He's a brilliant guy. Uh, and he, uh, he gets maximum results from this orchestra and the players love him. He's a professional, brilliant guy, uh, doesn't put anybody under pressure, undue pressure, which is one of the risks in this business. And he's, uh, he's led this orchestra for almost 20 years, and it's grown to really a, a professional uh, level orchestra. They've got many, many professional players and good amateur players in this orchestra. So it's, a, it's been a great growth experience. My name is Tom Sebieski. I'm a violinist with Central Ohio Symphony Orchestra and I started playing with them as acting concertmaster last year, last season. The orchestra is really quite good. There's a lot of enthusiasm in the orchestra. It's been around for 40 years, so that says a lot about the people who play in the orchestra who have been in it for a long time, and it says even more about the community around that supported the orchestra. Jaime's got a good vision for the orchestra. He likes to do really good rep, um, and that makes it fun for us and interesting for the audience. So uh, moving forward, I would expect to continue playing really great music. Um, keep the enthusiasm amongst the players. There's a, um, a good spirit here in the orchestra, which is why I like playing with them. Everybody's friendly, everybody's gung-ho about what we're doing. Uh, and I see that continuing. When you hear that Central Ohio Symphony is out in its 40th season, what does that mean to you? That's impressive because a lot of orchestras don't survive that long. Um, that means there's enthusiasm within the community for the orchestra because we can't survive without the people around us. We need an audience. It's one thing to just play for ourselves, um, but we need an audience to come and they do come and the audiences here are great. 